Hi everyone and welcome to my very first video in 2022. It's finally riding season again. It's been a rough winter, but I'm super stoked that today I was riding the Indian Scout Rogue. So the brand new model of Indian. And in this video, I will tell you everything about this badass looking bike. So stay tuned. So here it is, the brand new Indian Scout Rogue, which is basically the evil sibling of the Indian Scout or the Indian Scout Bobber and the Indian Scout Bobber 20. And here you can see, obviously, it's there's a lot of different parts to it. For example, you have a quarter fairing. You also have a single seat with a little backrest here. You also have a lot of black parts. It's all actually blackened and you have the mini apes and which is the biggest difference is the 19 inch front wheel and when i looked at the specs that was the thing that i was curious the most curious about how that's gonna ride because they didn't change anything with the geometry so the trail is the same the steering head angle is the same but they have this big 19 inch front wheel now instead of the 16 inch it was quite uh, thick or wide with the bobber because it's the bobber style and here it's thinner but it's bigger and I was really curious how that's gonna ride and that's what I actually want to start with with telling you how this Rogue rides and I was super impressed because I think that's the change for me that really made it even better so riding it it felt stable all the time even riding faster I always had the feeling it was very, very stable and putting it into corners was very easy to do and it followed the line that you would give it and I really liked it and I have to say I even prefer that over the bobber and also the new position of the handlebars fits me really well because when I remember the Scout that I also rode with the Scout, I was always also with the feet to the front as well, but then you had the handlebars more like this. And in this position, I felt it was more exhausting over a longer time. And this way, it really felt comfortable to me. And another really big advantage now is the windshield because I loved how it really took off the wind from my face or from my helmet, of course, because really the wind stream then went over my head and when we went on the freeway today and I tried out the acceleration, which is awesome by the way, <laughs> you didn't really feel that you were going that fast and it felt so stable. There was nothing like shaky or anything and when the wind was off my helmet, it just felt really good. And I love that because with most cruisers or with and especially naked bikes or naked cruisers, you have so much wind and it's just exhausting over time. So that's, that was really nice about this. So the engine is the same like the other Scouts. It has an 1133 cc um, V2 60 degree engine that I love in this cruiser. It is very powerful, especially from like 2500 or 3000 RPM. It really has so much power and you have all that power up to like 8,000 or 8,300 until it goes into the limiter, limiter. and it's, you really feel that this is such a good engine actually for this cruiser bike. It sounds very nice and it's just fun to ride, the acceleration is very nice and for that I also appreciated the backrest here because you could feel like when you were really accelerating that you had this and it really felt like it had your back because you didn't slide to the back and it was very comfortable. I appreciated how comfortable this seat is. This um, is the series seat but of course there's different seats that you could choose and that's also what I think is very nice. This spike is really made for also customizing it and there's a lot of parts that you can get if you want to make it so it fits you if you're like a very tall person you could have of course the footrests more to the front or the you can have a flatter uh, handlebar so then that you're more stretched or however you prefer it but for me actually 
I think this position was just fine. It felt comfortable, but still very active. And the seat was really comfortable. And um, we were riding, yeah, for a long time and it didn't hurt at all. And I, I do remember with the Scout, I did have some pain <laughs> in my butt after some time riding it. And now I think this improved a lot. And I didn't mention yet, it has 97 Newton meters at around 5,000 RPM and 94 horsepower at around 8,000. And you can also make it an A2 bike if you wanna have that. You also have a very low seat height of only 649 millimeters. So I think it's probably super easy to handle for most of us. And uh, even though it weighs around 250 kilograms, but it makes it so easy to just turn around somewhere, even if you're on the gravel. So I appreciate that as well. It makes it so much less intimidating, even though it looks, of course, very intimidating. And I love that. You have a 12.5 liter tank and that should get you around like 220 kilometers, I would say, with an average um, consumption of around 5.6 liters per 100 kilometers. And um, I think that's a very reasonable consumption for a cruiser bike like that. Also to be mentioned is you don't have any riding modes or anything. You just have the display that shows you the speed and a little digital thing that shows you the RPM. You can also as an accessory get like a little RPM gauge on the side if you want that. Um, so it's very simple. So there's nothing, you don't need to play around with any modes or anything. There's just one mode and that rides really well. So. It's simple and um, I love that it's very uncomplicated. And the suspension, you have a, a suspension travel of 51 millimeters in the rear. That is not very much, of course. And I could feel today if we would go, and I would on purpose take some deep holes <laughs> just to see how it feels. And it's actually not too bad. With deep holes, yes, of course you feel that it goes straight into your spine. That's um, of course the case, but with normal road conditions and with some bumps, it was actually better than I expected it. And if you wanted like much more comfortable as an accessory, you can get a piggyback suspension that is adjustable and has 120 millimeters of suspension travel, which makes it a lot more comfortable and you can even adjust it to your needs. And in the front, we have a telescopic fork with 120 millimeters that I think did also a great job. As well as the tires, all the Indian Scouts are now equipped with the Metzler Cruise Tag. And yeah, all in all, I think this all harmonized really well, I think, and it was super fun to ride it. And you probably wonder how this bike sounds, so let's show you. What also is standard is the USB socket here on the side. And as accessories, as, as I already mentioned, you can get a lot of stuff for it. For example, a passenger seat or like a luggage rack here. There is um, different color options for the quarter fairings here in the front. So for example, if you own a Scout, a normal Scout, you could even add this quarter fairing that I can only recommend because it really is nice against the wind and you can have it in different colors so it would always also match your Scout, whatever Scout you have. And the bike is available in three different colors. This here is the stealth gray. There's also a sagebrush um, sagebrush smoke and it's like a greenish color and you have a black smoke midnight and that would I think be the one for me because it's so dark and everything's so dark and black and I, I love everything black so that would be probably my color that looks the most evil. And what I haven't mentioned yet were the brakes. So we have a single disc front and rear with both 298 millimeters of diameter. And looking at the specs before I thought, okay, hmm, how's that gonna break? But actually it worked out 
Perfectly. Uh, I think with this weight, which is low for the cruiser segment, I would say, this worked out fine. So I wouldn't have needed more, to be honest. It always stopped in time. No issues here. Of course, if you have like a bigger bike that, that weighs like around 400 kilograms, then I think I would, I would always prefer two discs, but I understand that it's a, a design thing. And um, I think for this bike, it, it worked well. The brakes were really good. And also when you were braking a little bit in a turn, it didn't give you that sudden uh, uplift. And for the last, of course, the price in Germany is around 15,000. Uh, I put some prices here as examples. Just check the websites in your country to find out the current prices. And I have to say, I'm super impressed. I, of all the scouts that I rode and I tried them all, I love this the most. This would be my scout for sure. I love the look of it and how it rides. I think the 19 inch front wheel does a great job and the fairing is great. The windshield is great against the wind pressure and it's all in all more comfortable now. And yeah, I would ride this for an even longer tour but unfortunately I have to bring it back now. Thank you so much for watching. If you have more questions, let me know in the comments and there will be more videos soon as the weather now is finally spring. Here in Germany, we had a really long and cold winter, but I'm very excited to now finally do more videos again. And thank you guys for waiting so long and for watching this video to the end. And thank you for subscribing, leaving a comment and maybe a thumbs up. And I'll see you soon. Take care and ride safe. Bye.